Welcome in everybody. We're playing Danganronpa with Community Voices, and today I have with me Mio. <laughs> I never wanted to be here. And Tracy. Hello. <laughs> We're adding to our basement so well. We have some escapees. Wait a minute, what? Why, why did I hear a click on the lock? Are oh, you shit. excited? Are you pumped? It's time for the class trial to begin! Like the bright burst of fireworks, like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death! And so, with no further ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot! Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school! <laughs> See you soon! Oh my god, that was actual trial, so we don't have to, like, say shit. It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself, and come to the proper conclusion. Bitch! Just tell him! He's so dumb! I need helpies. Helpies? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, and I need helpies. Shall we go? Well, we better get going. Oh, okay. Why am I so upset? The part of Kiri Kiri will be played by, uh, Tutorial Chan. <laughs> Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation. They, uh, they were gathered by the red door. Where is my throat? <laughs> And as soon as we were all there... Yeah! Is there two of us? Hello, hello, hello! Why is there two? He's multiplied! Wrong! <laughs> nope, not multiplication! It just looks that way because of an inhibition! I'm moving so fast it only looks like I've multiplied! Hehehe! <laughs> Can you tell which one of us is the real Monokuma? Can we just get on the elevator already? Boy, the crowd. You're not playing along! Alone, alone. Stop talking. We're not here to play with you. Okay, okay, okay fine. Hey! Hey! <gasps> Jax! Thank <laughs> God! Hi! <laughs> and, and, and Jax has joined us. Apparently, his power has come back on. It just came back minutes ago. Yay! Thank you, thank you for coming. <laughs> Hi. And if everyone's here and ready to go, please board the pain train or elevator. I'll see you guys down there. Let's it's go. the second train I've ever been able to ride. Okay then, shall we? <laughs> please. This one is you, Tracy. Hold on, I'm not mentally prepared yet. This one is also your jersey. You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, Hiro. You're gonna pay for your sins. What the heck? I told you already, I didn't do it. Be serious. Hmm. That reminds me, did you ever find the other costume? Or the note? Um, well, no, but. <laughs> How unfortunate. Then it would seem we have our culprit. Uh, what? You can't fuck Hero. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when we get to the courtroom. That's right. She's right. Let's go down there first. Then the story can really begin. Good, good idea, guys. We're a team. Go That's team. Right. <laughs> go team, go team, go. <laughs> I have to. <clears throat> Get serious. I have to do it. With who? In the <laughs> elevator. <laughs> With I, can't let whoever... <laughs> I can't let whoever killed Hifumi and Taka get away. Well, but, um, hmm. for our sakes, we can't let him get away with it. 
for everyone who's still alive and the two that lost their lives. I'm just glad they're gone. No one There's has to voice them again. <laughs> There's more that have died. There's more than two. Like, what about our sanity? <laughs> <laughs> the one who killed Fumi and Saka. The one who killed two of our friends. The killer is. Someone right here! Well, not right here, but like, maybe like... Hang on, I have to turn possibly. Jax up again. Jax is all the yeah. way turned up. Oh no! Jax, turn yourself the fuck up! <laughs> I know, it, it's... It's Kiri Gary's voice is hard to do, and very soft compared to everybody else's. Yeah. Frank, that soldier. It wasn't me, you gotta believe me. Why do you gotta pick on Tracy specifically? Because it's funny. Mm, yes, yes. Come on, Big Mac. Let's do it. So we found out who it was. I'm a tasty bitch. Hey. <laughs> the story begins when we get down there. I'm a four dollar meal. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's. It would appear the culprit has been confirmed. The trial will be over in no time. Come on, mouse, stop being weird. <laughs> Were you listening? Wait till we get to the courtroom to begin your arguments. In other words, I'm so tired of listening to you and the day has just started. I just, I just wanted your attention. Just the worst. I like your pants. <laughs> Let's hurry up and go so we can make hero pay for his crimes. You tell him, Maui. <laughs> Damn. I don't like Monokuma's carefree attitude. Me neither. He sucks. Is he it sucks just so a carefree bad? attitude? <laughs> 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 I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. And I began to walk towards the elevator. Once everyone was aboard. The doors closed on their own. And then the cable snapped and we all died and the steel box began to move. The clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. I don't have a voice today. <laughs> there was no going back. For a second, I thought Byakuya was another Mokoto. <laughs> we said we couldn't go away. Anyway! How does it feel to be compared to me? <laughs> I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator fine came to a stop. The elevator door slid open. Opening up onto a cruel fate. <laughs> well, I see all of you are coming together like this. I realize just how few of you there are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Just the worst. Only because of you. Hey, why are you making us do such cool things to each other? Well, why? Well, why? You really hate me so much. But I'm so cute! Come on. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Yeah. Don't rush me! Of course I'm gonna start it! I would never be like, stay tuned for the action-packed class trial coming after this commercial break! But I would. <laughs> I'd never hold out on you guys like that! Okay, let's begin. Get your assigned seats. And so the curtain opened once again. And deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. I'm getting better at this. A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith. A deadly class trap! <laughs> <laughs> there went her voice, and that was a lot of deadlifts.
Yeah, Discord was like, nah, you're too loud, we're gonna mute that shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, Discord is sabotaging me. It works out. Discord, we you at an 11, we need you at like a 2. No. <laughs> <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. beep. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like baby chicken. We're gonna check our handbook real quick for Oops. Oh yeah, we have to like, look at things. I can't wait till we don't have the voice act anymore because they do everything. <laughs> and then we're just sitting here like, wow. <laughs> I think I remember all of the... All of the shit. But I don't remember the actual trial, so... Uh, fingers crossed. Boop! And so it begins. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now then, to begin with... We already know who did it. <laughs> wow, are we? It was Hero. Uh, okay. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place, and we found it in that suit. If they're do if the voice actors are doing it, you don't have to read it. Don't yeah, try and deny it. You killed them! I didn't! Someone knocked me out! I, I was asleep the whole time! I don't know anything about it! Shut your murdering mouth! Murderer! Jesus Christ, Jack. Sweetie! Call it a <laughs> I am sorry to say, Hero, but we do have evidence. Blueprints for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it, and all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. It points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I... I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He looks like he's gonna crash. Dude, I would. Is Hero really the killer, or... Oh yeah, I don't get to hear my splendorous voice that I totally do perfectly. For anything else, we have to make that clear. Now I have to play the game part of the game. <laughs> Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff! It's not true, it's a conspiracy! Hero, why? Why did you kill them? No! They totally deserved it, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all. No, it's wrong! Not true. Break! Are we sure Hero really made those blueprints? What do you mean? Well, take a look at this. It's the note that Hero wrote, asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't you say? When you compare it to the blueprints. There's no way you could think the same person made both of them. It's weird to think that the one with the worst handwriting was the one who was like hand lettering to Shonen. To disguise their handwriting. No, the differences are bigger than that, I think. Come on! I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. <laughs> At least he knows. So, yeah, he's so aware. Are you saying you don't think Hero's the culprit? And he's not the only one. I think Hero is innocent as well. Oh man, Biakia's back in us. 
Oh shit! <laughs> even what? even Makoto's like, what the fuck? Then who is my guy, my boy. Suit? Is it like Hiro said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? The suspicious individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. Yeah, it was here. Them, me? What? Who? Why? It was me. I I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has like you, you do the hard part. So, who was in yeah, the of course Robo Justice? Up in the... the suspicious and the question the one must have been. <laughs> the Illuminati. <laughs> Other than Hero, I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit, and we never found any kind of second suit. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. That doesn't make any sense. You just said Hero didn't do it. It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit, but he's not the culprit. So what you're saying is... That's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the robo-justice suit. What? Now that's a bold assumption! <laughs> and what reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Watch him pass it off to Makoto again. <laughs> of course. But before we get to that, there's something else we need to clarify first. So let's get that out of the way. Hey, has so much eyeliner on. All things Boss have me around proper me. order. <laughs> so what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation for Taka's lifeless body. It would seem that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. He was carried like a little baby. Can you tell us what they were? Why me? Why am I your favorite? <laughs> the things that were used to move Taka's body must have been... Fumi's glasses. <laughs> and there's still one more thing. The things that were used to move Taka's body, they must have been. Where the fuck is the thing? Where is it? I thought it was at the top. Oh, here it is. I just scrolled right past <laughs> it. I'm just nervous. I'm good at these. Why so main to I can explain. <laughs> Taka's body disappeared from still, the equipment. I'm still laughing at how much taller we are. Yeah, it's repository. <laughs> so fucking tall. And when we found it, it was just dick sucking height. Wrapped in a blue tarp, right? Hey, that's where I want to be. <laughs> it was the same tarp that up until then was stored in the equipment room. So the killer must have seen it there and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. I love how calm I talk. That way, they wouldn't leave any blood stains while they were moving it. It does sound like he's working it out as he's talking. Same <laughs> thing. <laughs> I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. No, because I played around on it. But when the like body skateboard. disappeared, so did the doll. Just skateboarding around on it in the halls is fine. <laughs> when Taka's body reappeared in the repository, Whee! so did the doll. Skating with it with the blood on it. You know that yeah. <laughs> you think that's color. Use the dolly it's a rat. The body. Am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken? Mistaken? Huh? Are you absolutely what? positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? That dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. It would be very strange indeed 
discover it had made its way to the equipment room. Is it not possible that it was in the repository all along and you simply didn't realize it? She's raised an objection. How do you respond? <laughs> Pretty there dumb. She's got a point. That's <laughs> much from you anyway. We have all accepted the fact that you rarely understand what is going on around you. Gaslight. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. <laughs> I've never had anyone around, so, anyone so nice while being so mean. Anyway, now I, can, I gotta change your mind or something. What's happening? I can explain to them why the dolly must have been moved from the equipment room to the repository. I have a feeling that this won't apply to us. Oh no, I just let's talk let's talk about reloading. Starting with this next bullet time battle, we're gonna add one more ingredient to the recipe. On the bottom of the screen, underneath the tempo marker, you'll see your ammo count. Up until now, this is your worst game, we're just gonna make it dumber. There hasn't really been a limit on how you destroy your opponent's statements. But from now on, just locking on and pressing the left mouse button won't be enough to handle them. Now it will cost you one bullet to destroy a single remark. Once you run out of bullets, you can't destroy any more statements, no matter how locked on you are. However, you can reload by pressing the tab key. Just like locking on, you'll have to press the tab key in time with the tempo marker. Basically, just remember that the tab key now has a function along with the right mouse button and left mouse button buttons. Button buttons. You will automatic button. you will automatically reload at the start of fever time and your ammo will not decrease. Oh, but if your action oh thank god, if your action difficulty is in a gentle, which it is, because I'm bad at games. Uh you won't have to reload at all. Which just regard everything I fucking said. Yep. <laughs> well then, good luck and have fun. I won't. I hate this game. Why are you gonna, wait, I thought you liked that. What's happening? D this mini game about it. You have it wrong. Oh. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. Lies will get you nowhere. Well, she's really fucking bullying us. Damn. Away with you. You miserable wretch. You have it wrong. Agree. You are a fool. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst, you miserable wretch. I cannot agree. It hurts my feelings. This should prove it. I'm getting a little stressed out face. <laughs> Break! If you're asking for proof that the dolly moved, I have it right here. My ass. Just insulted me the whole the time. Those weren't even arguments. One of the wheels had a blood stain on it. There was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire mark in it that matched the dolly wheels tread. Are you saying you do not agree with my assessment? I mean, I do, but you don't gotta point it out. The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident as they wheeled the body out of the room. And as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. Jeez, this one's really hating. God damn. Well, <laughs> She's a fucking anyway, bitch. That was just something we had to get out of the way. Let's get back to the main subject. Thank you for being my guinea pig. Yeah, the subject of how Robo Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then. What kind of robot is it? <laughs> Hina! Owie. <laughs> Owie, I'm not please. sure that really matters. I'd be happy to explain why the occupant of the suit couldn't possibly be the killer. But I'm gonna make Makoto do it. If you look back on how the body was transported, it will become immediately obvious. If I look how the body was moved, it will be why the person moves and couldn't have done it. I just repeated what the fuck he just said. Oh, what's he mean by that? <laughs> why, why didn't I just say that? I hate this. I hate this bullshit. 
Why do I just gotta say everything twice but dumber? As we know, Taka was killed in the equipment room. And from there, the body was moved to the repository, correct? Yeah, the culprit wrapped the body in the tarp, then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? Alright, that was incorrect. Yeah, something weird is going on. Shut up. I just wanted to scare the shit out of her. As we know, Taka was killed in the equipment room. And from there, the body was moved to the repository, correct? Yeah, the culprit wrapped the body in the tarp, then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? Now, keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a handle. Well, yeah, but even without a handle, all you have to do is bend over. What do you mean, no? Push the dolly, no problem. So the killer just crouched down and carted the body off to the repository. If you accept everything we just said, this is the idea. You must realize that whoever was in the suit couldn't possibly be the cult. Uh, sorry, I, I don't think I realized. Is it, did it bad or wrong or something? Hang on. I'm just gonna have to sit through this again. Can't bend over. As we know, Taka was killed in the equipment yeah. PG-13 or some and shit. From there, the body was moved to the There's a button to fast forward, but I don't remember what it is. We're just gonna have to sit through this. Put it onto the dolly, wheeled it off, right? The dolly doesn't have a handle. Super mom, the dog. I can't, I can't do you. <laughs> I didn't even try. All you have to do is bend over. Alright, it works that time. No, you're wrong. Shut up, Hina. Break. You're absolutely right that you could push a dolly without a handle if you stoop down low. But if you were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position like that? You can drop a hot, but you can't pick it back up. <laughs> think back to what you said when we were all checking out the suit together. Remember? I love that they used the one with Howie oh. in there. Oh, I gotta talk here. I'm blind as a bat in here, I can't even see my feet at arms. I actually got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. This is why I gave both of them. Because you want me to talk to myself, okay. Not to mention... Me. Can't even bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. When you're in that suit, not only can you not see your feet, but you can't even bend at the waist. Am I right about that? Now that you mention it, yeah. It seems like it'd be awfully hard to push that dolly if you couldn't bend over. You just kick it. You can bend me over. What? What's to stop you from <laughs> pushing the dolly with your feet? Or you could just kick him. When you can't even <laughs> see your feet, you really think someone could kick the dolly all that way? Yeah, upstairs. It's totally impossible. Not that I can say for sure myself. On top of that, if you were wearing such a rigid, cumbersome suit, it's very unlikely you would have the dexterity to go about wrapping the body in a tarp. Well, I mean, isn't that just a matter of taking off the suit when you're ready to move the body? There's absolutely no chance that costume was taken off. Just him in the body because I got it. I don't think taking off the suit was an option. If you remember, <laughs> oh, snip. hey, we should be doing it. I was chewing. I don't know what's going on with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. Uh, a little help? Why would you make something you cannot take off by yourself? I didn't make this stupid friggin' thing. Wow, oh, that was near silent. Oh so no. Quiet. Hello? Is this better? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jax. Welcome Hi. back. Welcome. <laughs> you want to try that line again? Yeah. I can hear you. 
There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. I just want to know where they fucking got a lunchbox clasp. <laughs> Makoto's just like, oh, that's where it went. <laughs> we don't really have a choice. Let's help him. Somebody's like, loot. Ace has been cannibalized. <laughs> Possible to put the suit on or take it off without help. Then you can help me take it off. You really can't take it off by yourself. Hero wasn't just making it up. Uh, of course I wasn't making it up. Hero continues to sound like he's about to cry. If he could have gotten it off by himself, I don't think he would have let us see him wearing it. Showing up in the suit was basically an invitation for everyone to suspect it. Yeah, that's right. So. It's really, really true that Robo Justice couldn't have moved the dolly. Yes, it's sort of just Hero and Alibi. To be clear, whoever did move the body, it couldn't have been Hero in the robot suit, correct? No, wait. Just a second, if you please. Have you forgotten about the picture that I took? You all got a good look at it, did you not? The image of Hifumi being dragged away by Robo Justice? If whoever was in that suit is not the culprit, how do you explain that? You dumbasses. Besides, do you remember what the now deceased Hifumi said? How did you get hurt? <laughs> Won't anyone take it for me? That guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice, or what I decided to call him just now. So long as those facts exist, the proper conclusion is beyond question. The individual I love the extra the noise he had to do. <laughs> 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 Without a doubt. <laughs> That's gotta be right. Hold on a second. Oh, gross. He's just leaking out of everything. It's still far oh, too early to reach that conclusion. Besides, there's no hurry to decide who did it. Before we rush to a verdict, shouldn't we explore every single possibility? Did everybody check the dead body's underpants? Instead of seizing on <laughs> one viewpoint, the truth is uncovered by analyzing things from every angle. Perhaps. At least she didn't check from thoughts. here. Won't do this. this series of unfortunate <laughs> events from the beginning. Maybe we'll I don't do something new. Feet <laughs> are never free. <laughs> what a pain in the ass! You've been dead. Don't disagree, but our lives are on the line. If this is what it takes, we have to do it. Plus, maybe we'll maybe get to Coco stopped doing TikTok. <laughs> she's on she's on OnlyFans doing feet. <laughs> All right then, let's take another look back at what happened. I suppose we could start with this morning. Four of us gathered together in the dining hall. Makoto, Hina, Hi. Kyoko, and myself. We waited there for quite a while, but nobody else showed up. So we went to look for everyone. That was around 8 a.m. And as soon as we split up... Soon after that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room and quickly came to get Makoto and me. It seems I was unconscious for about an hour after I was attacked by my mystery assailant. I know it was an hour because I remember being attacked a little after 7. That was when we saw Celeste's picture and discovered that her assailant had been wearing a strange costume. As it turns out, it was Robo Justice. It also soon became way, clear that this same Robo Justice had abducted Ifumi. You say it's so nice. We were soon joined in our search by Byakuya and Toko, and then went on to find Ifumi in the library. He she really injured, says Kuya. So we took him to the nurse's office and resumed our search for the suspect. But not long after leaving the nurse's office. 
What's wrong? I saw a shadow. Something moving around at the top of the stairs. When Celeste told us that, we decided at to least... split up and search the second floor. At least she doesn't say Buya Kuya. <laughs> <laughs> and soon after that, I saw someone moving around on the third floor, and I yelled out to everyone as soon as I did. Crazy. Shit. Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. And then... I was big boy. That scream noise. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> what was that? It means it's screaming. That came from downstairs. It must have been. Hey, fool me. He's in the nurse's office. <laughs> <laughs> it's a virus. <laughs> 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 it's a At that point, we decided to divide up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office while Sakura, Yakuya, and Toko chased after the suspect. When we got back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi dead. Super toast. And that's when we heard the body discovery announcement. I left Celeste and Hina there and headed back to the third floor to let the others know what had happened. Meanwhile, we had just discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. We must have found both bodies at almost exactly the same time. Because we heard the same announcement not long after we discovered his body. Tiny and that's when I told you guys about Hifumi. Then the three of us headed for the nurse's office. But right after we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who'd arrived after us. And she told us something very surprising. His Tumi's body has disappeared. We rushed back to the nurse's office and saw that she was right. Super shocking. And we remembered we'd left Toko passed out in the equipment room, so we hurried back again. She sort of <laughs> left her the left her on the floor. Does she have anything to say about that? No, she's just super chill about it. This can't be happening. Are we all- are we hallucinating all of this or something? But when we got there, we discovered that now Taka's body had also gone missing. Next thing we knew, we were searching the school for two missing dead bodies. And after some time... Celeste informed us that she'd found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository. Which is where we rediscovered the corpses. And then the fun discovery announcement they can, right? I think that about covers it. I see. The whole thing sounds exceptionally complicated. Here's like, this is stupid. It certainly seems <laughs> so to you're me all that these are not a simple series of connected events. Okay, uh -huh. well, if that's true, then what? Rather than a single series of events, I think we have to consider each murder a separate situation. With all these S's, she's turning into a snake. And from there, we can uncover the contradictions surrounding so all of them. Now then, let's get started, beginning with what happened to Taka. The contradictions hidden in what happened to Taka. In order to uncover the truth of this case, I have to find them, no matter what! <laughs> Mom told me to. Even if I don't, Mom says I don't get to have carrots. So, regarding Tom's you willingly death, chose carrots in the first place? I wonder if he died before yeah. he threw me. Or perhaps <laughs> Miyokota relics carrots now in its cannon. Fair enough. <laughs> I just didn't want this. 
I was like, what's a funny uh, food? And I <laughs> You went with the hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What Oh. No, I want it. Toto doesn't like being unhealthy. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up with Sakura. That's the only she'll notice me. <laughs> if I said ice cream, she would have shaken her head, and I can't, I can't deal with that disappointment. Kyoko keeps trying to offer uh, candy. I can't, I can't. Sakura will see. Sakura will see. So, regarding Taka's death. I wonder if he died before Hikumi, or perhaps it was after. We already know what order they were killed in. Alright, well that didn't work. She's just gonna be like, Why are you picking on me? Way Alright, fuck off. <laughs> just slap her titties around. <laughs> Big mommy milkers. Slap her the bag. We already know what order they were killed in. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3. While Taka's death came from a swing Justice of for Justice Hammer. Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Taka came after. It doesn't make any sense. You guys are idiots. I hate you so much. Why are you making me do this? I don't even know what I'm supposed to punch. <laughs> what am I arguing against? So, regarding Taka's death, order? I wonder if he died before he threw me. Or perhaps it was after? Oh, could it be in we the already know what order files? In. Taka came last. No, it's not in the Monokuma file. Because of the but I thought it would say this time of death. It's still the one that I- that's the one I did before. Yes, yeah, something is fucked up and it's you! Hina, I fucking hate you. Do we need to- do we need to send Jax on a Google quest? <laughs> Jax, what do I do? Jax, help me! <laughs> Jax, help! Uh, I- let me see. <laughs> Jax, we're done. What trial is this? Uh, Three. Last... Three. Wow, just search trial three and it gives me Diorampa. Thanks. <laughs> it knows you so well. It does. Man, if this had just come 15 minutes later, we could have taken a break and figured it out. <laughs> One fucking hair on my head, dude. It just Wait. that one lock of hair had been fucking me up all day. <laughs> Stupid hair. <laughs> it, that's what makes you um Jackie's favorite to always ask me things. Is how you know you're the protagonist. The protagonist hair. What um mini game did we just do? Like most recently? Uh there was the rhythm mini game was the one before. Okay. Right? Nobody's fucking paying attention. <laughs> I remember rhythms. The rhythm and the rhymes. It was rhythm and then there was like two questions and now we're doing this shit again. And now we're at the the bodies at the same time. Like the bodies at the floor. The bodies at the floor. floor. <laughs> uh, does anybody remember the last answer that we had just done? No. Um, okay. No. I, think. I don't know what question that we were just asked. It's the... I know we're trying to figure out what... Maybe what's so important about the numbering? Like, yeah, the numbering. We need to retitle this to like four idiots trying to figure <laughs> out. I'm never playing not to be one. Four what idiots play happened? a game for dumb kids. <laughs> hey, now I figure out what literally had just happened a second ago. Uh, if you're looking for shit to search. 
No, not V3. So, regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he died before he died. Or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the justice hammers. It's true that he Oh, I missed. I think I got it though. I think I know what it is now. Did we, did we forget that we can collect people's shit? No, I just didn't understand why I should do the thing that like <laughs> And, like, do four steps before you do the obvious fucking answer, is what the game is doing. The thing that drives roommate fucking crazy about these games. Nope. No, I'm wrong. It's true that he threw me was killed with Got it. Hammer 3. While Taka's death and then we use it on what order. Got it. Thank you. So it's obvious yep. Taka came <laughs> It's just, it seems so arbitrary. Yeah. Because there's so many choices. So, regarding Taka's it definitely death, feels like... I wonder if he died before he it definitely feels like a localization problem. Mm-hmm. Counter! Rar! Break! Rar XD! Hold on. Where are we? No reason to assume that the hammers were used in the same order as their numbers. If anything, that's just another way the killer tried to disguise their actions. So you're saying the culprit wanted us to think the hammers were used in order, but in reality, Taka was killed before Hifumi? I love how Biakia is just like putting little breadcrumbs around so that Makoto will pick them up. <laughs> okay then, let's see the proof. Tasty, tasty breadcrumbs. Evidence that proves Taka was killed before Hifumi. It's actually carrot pieces. I feel like they were supposed to leave me alone. Let me just have my shitty joke. <laughs> that didn't land. <laughs> Let me just enjoy it. Oh no. Is this wristwatch? Uh, uh yes. Yes. It's so janky on stream, but so smooth on stream. What? <laughs> I was actually watching stream instead of stream. Yeah, same. <laughs> it's the H video game. You can't do this to me. H. Ooh, I almost yeah. typed. <laughs> Not H. Because <laughs> I can turn all of my A's into O sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Look, it turns names into terrible times. It turns H's into O's. <laughs> oh, he's back. Fuck. Want me to have him still? Yes. Someone. Uh, hey, hey, you. Oh. oh. <laughs> what have you taken? I don't care. <laughs> Some both of us at the same time. <laughs> you can have it if you want. Okay. Hey, you! How long were you going to keep us waiting? How long do you want me to? Talk to the irritated voice, pierced through the ears, he stared pointingly at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. Yes. Why aren't you in bed, you little bitch? After six last night, <laughs> then he must have been attacked around six this morning, and that would be his official time of death. He just but passes out, true. and it's ten. He was killed well <laughs> before he flew me. It just, just goes completely rigid and falls over. <laughs> and before Celeste was attacked this morning, which happened around seven. That's right. Taka was killed before any of the other incidents took place. Was a full toko? That simple fact slipped <laughs> past all of us. 
We made the wrong assumption. Except for three of us. All because of those justice hammers. <laughs> Which is like more than half the party at this point. No, 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 no. I just, we, we all fucked up. If that way, when we saw how they were used in each incident, we'd easily make that wrong assumption. Now, if Taco was killed around six, then everyone's alibis for his murder go out the window. Because when he was killed, we hadn't met up in the dining hall yet. That may be true in the case of Taka's murder. But all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. That's Hi. right. With him, at least, we're all safe. <laughs> what, what was that? I'm just gonna keep replaying this over and over. That came from downstairs. It must have been. Hey, fool me. He's in the nurse's office. <laughs> this is bad. Come on, we have to go back. You know what? I'm only gets worse. We were all together, except for Hiro and Kyoko. It's one of you two. It's Kyoko. It's entirely Kyoko. <laughs> God damn it, Mom! <laughs> then we all ran down to the nurse's office, and that's where we found his body. That's totally true! We're all in the clear! <laughs> oh no! I love her. They must have recorded him screaming on a tape or something, then played it later on! If that's true, where's the tape? I love how Monica was in the background, just like, what, what, what? <laughs> You're just like, how are you all this anyway, stupid? We all have rock solid alibis for when we heard Hifumi scream. Since all of us were there together, clearly none of us could have killed him. And it does not rock stop solid. there. Right. There was also the moment when we discovered his body had disappeared. I love how bored she looks. She's like, yeah, another class trial. Let's get this over with. His body vanished from the nurse's office. Hina and I were in the bathroom together, while everyone else was in the equipment room, correct? We were copying. And then, there's the disappearance of Taka's <laughs> body from the equipment room. At that time, we were all gathered together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi going missing. Well, don't forget, I was passed out in the equipment room the whole time! Wait, then what if Genocide Jill did it? She could have dragged Taka's body out of there right then! Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Hifumi's body. Because, as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. Besides, I didn't do either of them anyway. <laughs> in other words, it is impossible that any of us could have killed Hifumi or moved either of their bodies. On the other hand, Hiro and Kyoko had disappeared. So they most certainly could have done those things. Hmm. So what now, Kyoko? Okay. Can help? Hmm? Mom. Now we can't get fixated on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. So instead Mom. of who, I propose we start talking about how. Hell yeah! Don't think about me doing it. In particular, I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. That's true. We searched everywhere, but we couldn't figure out how to explain his body disappearing. And according to what Celeste said... We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. So, then the killer was able to get in and move Hafuma's body in that short amount of time? Bullshit! You've been the only one so. seeing everything, you're a fucking problem, and... and... Do not call me a problem. Disappeared in the one minute her and I will make it entirely your problem. But to carry that That's much great. weight from the first floor up to the third in that short amount of time? Oh man, yeah. There's no way. It'd be impossible. Well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? Well, then it wouldn't be impossible at all. What? How? Like, I don't get it. If the dead body were to move itself. Oh, we have the good shit. music. <sighs> do, do, do. <laughs> the, the dead body <laughs> moved on its own? He's a zombie. No, not another. 
It can't be a ghost if it's solid. It's your entire job, you dumb idiot. Ghosts just turn on party lights at 3 a.m. and it's fine. <laughs> we thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality he was still alive. He was alive? Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office, but simply walked out on his own? I'm just gonna jam out for a while. But I mean, we found I his dead body. you. He was dead. Perhaps he was simply playing dead. That yes, boo. Is it possible? Did anyone bother to check for a pulse? The idea that Hifumi was still in that well, no, the only one who touches bodies is fucking Kyoko. She wasn't there. Hifumi likes touching the dead people, and we didn't want to do it. Uh... Besides, I only chuck underwear. <laughs> she doesn't touch anything else. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? I think I need that. It is impossible. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. No, alright. I tried. Yes, I know. He's mad. Everybody's mad. It's okay. Everyone's <laughs> fucking pissed. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No. Oh, I found the the speed up button. is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi, there's a chance he was actually no? <laughs> I love Sakurai. <laughs> Sakura Chimok. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. I'm like gun shy now because if I fuck up again, we're gonna lose. There's a chance he was actually still alive. No. It is impossible. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body has been found. Yeah, sorry Celeste. Sorry sweetie. I love you. You've got great hair and a great vibe. I love it, but you're still wrong. <laughs> Love of the hair tornadoes. Was, the announcement played right after we discovered his body. Maybe, but that was also the same time that Taka's body was found. That's right. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard the announcement. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hifumi or Taka. First of all, if two bodies had been found, there really should have been two announcements. A body has been discovered. Monokuma simply got lazy and rolled them together into one. What do you say, Monokuma? Any comment? Fuck off! Well, it's a very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that... It's only broadcast when three or more people find a dead body for the first time. That didn't answer our question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy bum. <laughs> no, actually, that was plenty. <laughs> huh? He said it's only that was a very Byakuya laugh for you. For the first time, <laughs> which means, even if we find the same body again later, 
he won't make the announcement again. If that's true, then why was the announcement made again later on? Huh? Later on? Because Ufumi exactly. actually died? We heard the body discovery announcement twice. He died in Owie's fucking little arms from his Owie's. <laughs> Not funny. Why'd you guys laugh? <laughs> I thought For it was funny. <laughs> Second time was win. Bitch ass. There, now we can make one more mistake without losing the game. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like. The class trial will begin. It didn't seem weird at the time. It contradicts what Monokuma just told us, doesn't it? Exactly. If we were actually rediscovering both bodies, the announcement shouldn't have played. And in reality, he was just discovering how short we were. When the two dead bodies were rediscovered, one of them was actually. He was just so shocked he announced bodies. For the first time. <laughs> so when we found Hifumi the first time in the nurse's office, he wasn't actually dead yet. And just for the record, this is the case that made best friend want to quit this game. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he, wasn't <laughs> he was so frustrated with how stupid everybody was. <laughs> he fucking hates Aoi because she's such a problem. <laughs> She just believes whatever whoever's whatever the loudest person has said. Hell yeah. Me too. It'd be best to keep alive like in the final three. Look at her little smile. <laughs> but honestly, I do not think there's anything that can prove he was still alive. Okay then, let's take another look at the events surrounding the discovery of his body. Then it should become clear whether he was really alive or not. This whole thing is pointless. It to be proof that shows if we're still alive. I have to find him! I gotta do my job! You can do it. I'm doing it! I'm not doing shit. I'm still engaged. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm the one losing the game for us. It's fine. You want the answer? Mm, no, I think I know this one. Okay. Yeah, because he had to clean his glasses so he could fucking see. Yes. time we saw his body, it was in the repository. But when you compare his body before being moved and his body after being moved, other than the change in how it was positioned, there was no notable difference. No, that's wrong. Good job. Break. Break XD. There was one clear difference between Hifumi and the nurse's office in the repository. His glasses. That fact alone proves that he was only playing dead in the beginning. Perhaps you'd like to fill the rest of us in? Explain this to me, Mikoto, you are so stupid. Look, Miyokoto wears glasses, and I know how that should go. Office, his glasses were covered with blood. And also, whose face but ends up like that after they kill? In the repository? Hamsters. They were spotless. <laughs> and... I found the item he used to wipe them clean in the nurse's office trash can. Seems so weird to me that he just threw that thing out. <laughs> the evidence I found trash can in the nurse's office was... A Who hammer! the fuck is it? The entire tarp. There it is. I can't <laughs> clean my glasses with my hammer. It was a glass <laughs> cleaning cloth featuring a certain cartoon mask. I mean, you wouldn't have to clean them ever again afterwards. <laughs> exactly. On the cloth should make things clear. This piece of cloth was used to wipe Hifumi's glasses clean, and the mascot on the cloth is the same one that's on the digital camera, right? And whose digital camera was it? Hifumi's, of course. The character was Princess Piggles. 
Then Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess or Prince. I highly doubt anyone but Hifumi would have brought something like this to school. I see your point. <laughs> and the only people here who wear glasses are... I wouldn't be caught dead using a tacky piece of garbage like that. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> You'll hear from my lawyers. I think all you need is your tongue to keep your glasses clean, but okay. Gross! We can't wipe the saliva off, though. She's like a lizard. So what you're saying is... Stop the serpent. What I'm saying is, the blood on his glasses was wiped away using his own glasses cleaning cloth. Even if that is true, it does not mean he wiped the blood off himself. But who would benefit from a clean pair of glasses other than the glasses owner? That's I care, bitch. Sniper is just like the one eye stare is so intense. She fucking. <laughs> So let's assume that Hifumi is still alive in the nurse's <laughs> office. He pretends Stop to be dead. Food. Then when he's alone, so he wipes his glasses clean so he can see. Then he stands up and walks out on his own two feet. It is uh, a little after nine. Do you guys want to take a break? <laughs> 